you gotta be careful here. Yeah, yeah, there's somebody crossing the street. Yikes. Okay. Oh man. So I guess why are they walking on the street? I guess there's no room. The tents are taking up the room on the sidewalk. So a lot of people can't cross the, on the look at this. Now they're blocking the co completely on the street. Before it was just on the side there. Now they're actually blocking the sidewalk. People have to go around on the street. We're going down to Chinatown to grab a bite to eat. So we want to support uh, Chinatown. Somebody's taking a selfie. I'm going to be in their selfie. Here, I'm going to be in their selfie. Okay. Wow, look at this. I got, I don't got jail, boy. Oh. Oh, they're having the festival. They're blocking off the street here. Junbei Hallet. Oh, I forgot. So, Evie's. Okay, Evie's used to be Gonghen. Evie's right now used to be Gonghen. Gonghen. So, he used to sell barbecue meats. In the old days. So, Gonghen is Huangman Sang, was owned by one of our relatives. So he used to sell uh, supplies and goods over there. This uh, meat store, uh, I've been here many, many years ago. So it's been around for a long time. Gin Chiang. Gin Chiang. Yeah, I recognize the sign. So I've bought barbecue stuff there. I'm at the uh, Dollar Meat Store. This is one of the uh, older establishments here in Chinatown. So I'm trying to support uh, the business in Chinatown, so let's go inside and check it out. I'm looking for YouTube channel. This is a This is a This is a Oh, this is a I'm going to support the business in Chinatown. Yes, yes. 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 Yes, so what, so what I'm saying in Chinese is um, since the pandemic uh, business has been slow but it's starting to pick up again so I'm trying to uh, trying to uh, promote Chinatown so more people come locals and tourists so I'd like to see how they cut the duck there's a certain skill to cutting the duck here oh hi hi so it's looking good here. So this is a nice barbecue duck we're gonna have tonight. So slowly building up for business. So uh, trying to uh, get more uh, support for Chinatown merchants. Have a look at that. Oh, that looks good. Oh, that looks good. I'm gonna have that for dinner tonight. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Chinese sausages here. Uh, that might be a different she points it out and tell them uh, which one they want. So get the exact one that you like. You get one of these uh, preserved pork. It's good for uh, steaming and rice. Uh, Plate pot rice as well. So Tinland Cookware, right here uh, beside me. Uh, I buy my supplies from there, like uh, uh, cooking Chinese cooking supplies. But it's closed right now. What's this? DCS. Don't okay. waste. You sugar, Gama. I'm the Walung. Walung. Right now, must be some kind of a. I don't want to. 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 I don't want
Is that a pub? What is that? Is that a pub? It's a gym. Oh, it's a gym. Okay, thanks. <laughs> it's a gym. Oh, okay. I see people sitting there, so I thought it was a. I thought it was a pub, but it's actually a gym. Good to my. Who I never let go. Oh, sir. I never would let go. Well, could you hide your arm, my? Who? I just saw the people sitting in there, so I thought it was a pub, and then, and the guy said it was a gym. Okay. Well, okay. Well, there's a table set set up, and the people were like, look like they're enjoying. But that guy had a water bottle in front of him. So, it's actually a gym. Huh? So it seems to be a lot of gyms and uh, workout places in Chinatown now, right? So it'll be a lot of young people coming down. But uh, some of the more traditional Chinese shops, they're not around anymore. So where it says Ade, it used to be the New Diamond uh, Chinese restaurant. One of the first places I went here for dim sum. So the waiter kept saying, Chado Bado, Chado Bado. So I didn't know what he was saying, but he's actually saying Tet Ho, Bat Ho, but using a Cantonese uh, dialect. So I speak the uh, Hoi Ping village dialect. So every time we see that waiter, we call him Chado Bado, Chado Bado. That's his nickname after a while. This uh, barbecue place, uh, they sell meat and barbecue. Uh, Chinese sausages, that kind of thing. I remember a, a customer, a lady customer in the barbecue place. She started yelling at the staff. So, and the husband didn't really care, he just stood there. And then she said, I spent $85 here. And I spend this kind of money. And then I got no good service. So the husband, kind of embarrassed. $85 is not a lot of money. So we went outside. So I'm just going to park it here. One of my viewers recommended this uh, bakery. I'm going to pick up a few things just to try out. So I'm going to give it a try. Uh, did you eye palma? Yeah. Uh, okay, who learned it? I'm going to have the big bao with the uh, salted duck egg. This is the eye bao, thai bao. Uh, I'm gonna try it here first time. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, nice and hot. So I just picked up a couple of these uh, Dai Bao, the big Bao. So they're 335 each. They're really huge. Wow, look at this uh, big Bao. Wow, this is huge. 335. One of my viewers recommended me to try this place. I think I bought stuff here before, but not uh, the big Dai Bao. I got the duck egg in the middle here. It actually shows it in the center here. <laughs> so my mom always uh, tell me we can make it ourselves, make more of them. Look at this bow, look at that. Wow, look at the meat in there. Oh, that's nice. So I got a little bit of duck egg. You have a choice of chicken egg or duck egg, but I like the duck egg, so it's really nice. So you can see, this is huge. So this is a pretty sure a quarter pounder meat in there, pretty close at least. Hmm. You want to go ahead? Three thirty-five each. You get the uh -huh. pork patty with the duck egg. Clumber clumber. Hmm. Well, how's I'm getting going? Let me look more. Hmm. So, um, look at it. Mmm, that's good. For three thirty-five, that's pretty good value. Big, huge bow. So stay tuned for my recipe for a big bow. Oh, look at these bows! Oh, these are slightly bigger. These are Chinese bakery size. So you get half a dozen of these. They'll cost you about twenty dollars Canadian. So you make these for about uh, two dollars to two dollars fifty cents. So today we made close to 40 bao, cost about $80 retail. So I made uh, close to 40 bao for under $10. Also known as bao, so let's get started. So this is the brand that I use, uh, TNT brand. It's an enriched bun flour. This is made by a local company called TNT. So 
a really nice uh, fluffy bow. I use this uh, wide bowl because I can uh, knead the uh, flour right inside the bowl so I don't have to take it out and put it on a board or put it on a table. So it's three cups of flour here. We're going to add a cup and a half of cold water. I'm using instant rice, instant uh, yeast. So you can use the, uh, the regular yeast but I'm using instant yeast a lot faster. What about uh, tablespoon of instant rice yeast in uh, I got about a quarter cup of water here so this is warm water so you don't want the water to be too hot but first we're just going to add a three-quarter teaspoon of uh, salt so we're just going to mix the salt into the flour uh, teaspoons of baking powder uh, we call it magic baking powder Add the uh, instant yeast with the water, so it's activated. So I'm just going to add a cup and a half of uh, cold water. So it's two to one ratio. There's three cups of flour here. So I'm going to add a cup and a half of uh, water. So I'm just going to mix it up. So I'm just using chopsticks here. You can use a, uh, a wooden spoon or you can use a fork or whatever you like. But uh, chopsticks is really good for mixing. So you can use all-purpose flour for this recipe as well. So I've used the all-purpose flour. So this is actually just a, a brand of flour by TNT. So now I'm just going to wrap the dough with a piece of cellophane. So just let it rest. So this dough you should uh, let rest for at least an hour. So it's been about an hour and a half. So, so just knead this dough for three or four minutes. Oh, I've been kneading this for a few minutes already, so it's looking good. It's kind of sticky, but it's not really sticking. So now we're ready for the next step. For the filling, we're going to add some tasty Chinese barbecue duck and some Chinese barbecue pork from our dinner last night. We're going to add some ground pork, Chinese sausages, and some diced Chinese mushrooms. So you can add your own favorite ingredients. I like to add some chopped onions for flavor and texture. So give that a quick stir fry. You can use your wok or a pan to stir fry your ingredients. So I also add some green onions and three quarter cups of water or chicken broth with a sauce. Here we have some kohlrabi cabbage. I'm going to put in a teaspoon of salt. I use sea salt. One teaspoon of brown sugar. Half a teaspoon of chicken soup base. I put in two or three tablespoons of Chinese oyster sauce, my favorite sauce. And finally add two to three tablespoons of light soy sauce, also known as regular soy sauce. It only takes about five to seven minutes to stir fry your ingredients. Add one tablespoon of cornstarch and a third a cup of water to thicken your sauce and let the ingredients cool off for at least one to two hours before making your bows. So I'm gonna make a a bao or a baozi right now. Just have Recipe. a little bit of this uh, peanut oil. You can use any kind of vegetable oil. So just make sure it doesn't stick. So this doesn't really stick that much, but a little bit of oil goes a long way. So just flatten it out a little bit. So I'm going to put a tablespoon of this uh, filling. It has uh, Hong Kong style barbecue pork. It has Hong Kong style roast duck. Uh, just press it down a little bit to get the filling in. I have the Hong Kong style barbecue duck and the Hong Kong style barbecue pork in this uh, filling. So also add green onions and Chinese mushrooms. So this is a simple filling, the southern China flavors. So we put it, you need to put it on a piece of parch, put it on a piece of parchment paper or wax paper. So we got the uh, water going, so it's at medium high to high heat. So make sure it's steaming really hot. There's lots of steam, there's lots of water and a wire rack on the bottom. So I put the uh, 
tray of buns in, cover with a lid, and let it steam anywhere from 12 to 15 minutes. It's been about 15 minutes. Uh, let's have a look at the results. Wow, look at that. Ooh, it turned out really nice. The bow is really fluffy, so it didn't have room to expand, so they're pretty well wall to wall. Mmm, lots of flavor. Hong Kong style barbecue duck with the Hong Kong style barbecue pork in the filling. You gotta try this. So on this run, we turn the uh, bow upside down, so the bottom becomes the top. So they're really smooth on top, and uh, the rough part is now on the bottom. So just let the water come to a boil. So lots of water in there. So just steam it for 15 minutes, 12 to 15 minutes, and up to 20 minutes. I've done it for 20 minutes, comes up pretty good. So now we're gonna check the upside down bow. Ooh, they turn out really fluffy. On this run here, you see the, the the side here, it rises just like bread, you know, so it has a good uh, sidewall because it had no place to go. So, so it went up. So you can see the uh, good rise on these. These are pretty tall. Mmm, wow, that's nice. Mmm, that's good. I'll leave these out for a while. So just make sure you tighten the tops a bit and so they don't leak. Uh, generally they don't leak anyway, but good to have nice presentation. The rack on the bottom, lots of water. So put the uh, balsa in, cover and steam for 12 to 15 minutes. So I'm gonna check the next round of bow here. Wow! So, ooh, look at these balsa. Ooh, these are slightly bigger. These are Chinese bakery size. So you get half a dozen of these. They'll cost you about $20 Canadian. So you can make these for about uh, $2 to $2.50. Now you can order the products and ingredients that I use in my cooking videos. Just click the link below in the description for the Chinese cooking accessory guide. You can order everything online, including the wok that I use and some of the equipment that I use. We have the filling with the ground pork and the uh, cabbage. This is raw. We put soy sauce, uh, light soy sauce, dark soy sauce, oyster flavor sauce, we put some uh, ginger, chopped ginger. It's our version of bao using a traditional uh, bao recipe. So this is my big bao coming up. Wow, look at that. It's bigger than the ones you get in this store. Wow. I'm just going to show you the filling on this thing. Oh, look at that, look at that, wow, look at that, look at that. You're not going to get this in a Chinese bakery. you get this at home. Thanks for checking out my video. And please give me a thumbs up. And be sure to check out some of my other videos on this channel. And please subscribe. If you get a chance, check out my other channel, the award-winning Chinese cooking channel.